Judaism, Christianity, Islam and the doctrine of replacement theology. I would say that replacement theology is the doctrine that the New Testament supersedes the Old Testament and that Christianity supersedes Judaism. It could mean that God replaces a Jewish nation with a new one who is more faithful and obedient. We need to compare and contrast these two verses and relate one to another. It is between the sacrifices offered up by the people of Kedar and Nebaioth, who are sons of Ishmael that represents the Arabs, and the Jews clearly delineated in their holy scripture. Book of Isaiah 60 verse 7 All the flocks of Kedar will be gathered to asterisk you. The rams of Nebaioth will serve you. And go up on my altar as an acceptable sacrifice. I will glorify my beautiful house. Asterisk this pronoun, third person, in Hebrew is feminine and it could refer to Hagar and her land as she has been prophesied in the Torah that her descendants will be a great nation. Jeremiah 6 verses 20-21 God speaks to the Jews, Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. And your sacrifices are not pleasing to me. Amos 5 verse 22 God speaks to the Jews, Even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings. I will not accept them. And the peace offerings of your fattened animals. I will not look upon them. Much to my surprise, in the last analysis, Jesus himself taught replacement theology according to Gospel of Matthew 8 verses 11 to 12. I assure you that many will come from the East and the West, Gentiles, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. But those who should be in the kingdom, Jews, will be thrown out into the darkness, where they will cry and gnash their teeth. In conclusion, Islam abrogates Judaism and Christianity as well. In other words, Islam supersedes both of them.